All right, guys, so this is just an overview of the room that we have for baby Cash. So the bed is not made because this is actually where my nephew sleeps too. They're kind of sharing a room um, and we just had some company so the clean sheets are ready to be um, remade but I can't make the bed because this big old belly's in the way. So I'm just going to show you guys everything that's in the room and I'm not going to do a baby shower haul because everything I'm going to show you um, some of it was from the baby shower, some of it's just things that I've purchased, but I will just go through everything in this room. So, as you walk in the door, there is this chest here, and I just have some gift cards. In the first drawer, I have socks and shoes. These are all the knitted outfits that my grandma bought for him, so I just keep them in here for now. Um, and then I have socks. These are all newborn socks, and then these are mittens. Then here I have all my newborn clothes and I do have a load of laundry going so these are just all the light colors. I do need to get a couple more sleepers just because I know that he'll be, I mean I don't know for sure if he'll be a newborn but hopefully he will be at least for a little while. So I do have um, pants, hats, onesies, Those are that's all the newborn stuff I have, that's it. Minus like two or three things that are in the dark wash. Then down here I have some zero to three month things just kind of ready to be washed. Some of them still have the tag on them. I'm not going to go through every single piece of clothing, but I just have some pants here. Um, some of these are from Amazon. Um, and then these are just onesies. So um, they could be long sleeve, short sleeve, it just depends. But these are all zero to three months and they're just they're ready to be washed when the time comes. And then I'm going to pan over to this section, uh, the closet. This is just um, a little bassinet that I used to play with when I was a kid. And I just put all his little stuffed animals in there just to kind of keep because he won't use them yet. Um, but just to have. And then this is what the closet looks like. I'm only utilizing this side of the closet. The other side of the closet is um, princess party stuff, so I'm not using that side. But these are basically all the clothes that I have that are not newborn. I think there's one thing, yeah, this thing in here is newborn that I need to wash. Um, but everything else is either zero to three or three to six. And then I do have a couple of like 12 months back there, but I mostly, wanted um, zero to one year clothes. So this is all the, these are all the clothes that I have. And then back there I have blankets and those have all been washed. And then in this basket are all my swaddles. You can't really see cause it's dark, but these are all the swaddles that I've accumulated. A lot of them I got from the shower. I got some little unicorn. I got some, what are these? Aiden and, Aiden and Anise. Um, but there's a good amount of swaddles in there. And then I will be putting towels here. Um, I have some hangers. These are all things that need to be washed but are not really needed right now. So they're just in this bag ready to be washed. And that and there is like little trinkets, things that I got at the shower that I can't necessarily use right now. Um, this is another stroller organizer. I've got some like my Moby... Um, carrier because that's being washed. Um, these little like car seat squishies, some food storage. I have all my pacifiers in here and I need to sterilize those and have those ready. Um, some older socks, just things that I got at the shower that I haven't really put away yet. Um, so that's all kind of in there. And then this one's empty. I don't know what to put in there yet, but this is all like dishes. So for when we start bottle feeding after I go back to work, we've just got like a bottle um, washing thing. We've got some bottles in here. We've got another little bottle. These are some bottle brushes. We've got the boon grass. We got a little munchkin drying rack. So m most of this is just like to do dishes and um, stuff when he's using a bottle. But I do plan to breastfeed for the first three months exclusively. And then we do have our changing pad from the house there just because it's there. So that's what's in the closet. And then over here is like my little diaper changing station. So obviously I have this pack and play. This will be his makeshift crib 
for the next few months. Um, his diaper pad is here. This came with the pack and play. And then there's this really cool little net that kind of attaches. And over here I just have some things. I have some little toys. Um, I have Aquaphor. I have a diaper um, cream brush. I just got some little things from Honest Baby with a diaper cake that I got. And then I have some PPTPs here so that when I change his diaper I cannot get peed on. I've got a diaper or a wipe warmer. I've got a bin full of newborn diapers ready to go. I did line this with a cloth diaper because it is wood and I don't want any splinters getting into the diapers. And then this is a care kit that I got from, um, from my friend Katie at the shower. Um, so I have that there just ready to go. And then I do have a diaper pail without a bag in it, so I need to get some of those. Um, my boppy is here ready to go. My mom's going to make a cover for it, so I'm just leaving it in there till it's time. And then this is my milk snob um, diaper, or not diaper, um, breastfeeding and car seat cover. So that's ready to go. And I haven't packed my hospital bags yet, but that will probably go in it. And then down here, I just have some moving diaper changing things. Um, they have diapers, wipes, and then they will also have whatever else I need. Um, you know, these might go in the car or in the living room or just wherever we need them if we can't come in here or we don't want to. <laughs> um, the pack and play has the insert where it raises the mattress up. So underneath, we just have some more diapers and wipes that we're storing underneath it. Um, we do have quite a bit of diapers under there right now, so that's good. And then underneath the changing table, we've got all our newborn size diapers and then more wipes just ready for using. And then he has his little buffalo plaid sheet in here. This is his daca tot. So during the day, he will sleep in here when he's napping. And then at night, he will sleep in my room with me and uh, with Scott and I. And then this little lamb is so cute. A friend of mine, Allie, got this for me at the shower. And it actually makes music. And sounds and stuff. So I'm just keeping that there. Obviously, when he's a newborn, he can't reach over and grab that. So um, he should be fine with that. And then over here, I'm trying to avoid myself in the mirror, but I just kind of made this like a little decorative area. I probably will need it for something, um, but I put all his books in this crate and then just our pictures. And um, this was made for me by my sister-in-law's mom. Um, and I plan on hanging it above the crib. And then over here, I just have our diaper bags. I'm gonna use them to pack his, um, so I'm going to pack cash in my diaper bag and then I'll pack Scott in Scott's diaper bag. Um, just cause it's, Scott's not going to need a whole lot. He's really minimal. And I do have like a suitcase I'm packing for both of us. So we don't really need one for her, for Scott. So I might do one for cash and then one is an actual diaper bag. And then, um, my stroller's in here right now only cause I wanted to show you guys. Um, I did get my car seat installed and it's just the Britax um, safe cell I don't know Britax Britax B safe 35 that's the one it is and then we got this little insert from um, it's a Carter's child of mine insert um, I just put it there uh, it came with two I just put the smaller one in here because I want his head really secure the bigger one is in the Mama Roo, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. And then this is just the stroller organizer that we got from my friend Katie. It's cool. It's got two cup holders. It has this little thing, um, pocket. And then, like I said, the other one is also available. But for now, we're just going to use the black one. And that's in there. Let's see. So, oh, I have to show you this. See this bear right here? My mom actually made this bear by hand. I'm gonna pull him out. He's missing his pants because they're on order. But he was made to look like the Cuddle and Kind bear. Um, and he's naked, he has a square little body, and he has a shirt that matches, uh, Cash has a shirt that matches. And then my mom ordered him some pants and Cash some pants to match too. So this is his little hand handmade teddy bear that grandma made him, and I just think he's so cute. Okay, let's look at some outfits. 
So, let's see. You guys have seen that one. We got this one. I think you've seen these. Little pants. Okay, so this is the bed that Cash will be sleeping in at night when he is in here with us. Um, he'll just be sleeping in this, <laughs> kind of like the slumberjack is, and he's right next to us. So, sorry, my room's kind of messy right now, but he will be sleeping here in this, and this actually came with the pack and play. So this is the Mamaru swing that we got, and we put my little baby doll in it just for fun. We were playing, um, but this is that other head thing I was telling you guys about. I just put it in there because it'll be more supportive. We didn't buy the insert that goes with it. We figured that would be enough. And then over here, we have his little activity gym, and it's like camping theme, which I think it's so cute. So we'll set that up when he needs it, but for now, it's just kind of back here and ready to go. What do you think, Jack? Oh, and look, Daddy's controlling it with his phone. Yep. <laughs> so this will only be used like when we need to do stuff around the house or like shower or whatever. We're not planning on putting him in here all the time. Um, but it is nice just in case being held isn't what's going to soothe him. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay guys, so that is pretty much my makeshift nursery while I'm staying at my mom's house. She's really gracious enough to let us stay here and um, she's actually really, really excited that we're staying and I'm really, really grateful and feel very blessed that she was able to give us this space to have him in. Um, and my nephew doesn't stay here that often and when he does, he won't mind sleeping in here because Cash will be sleeping in our room at night anyways. And I'm gonna let you go.